Hi, my name is Bailey Crowder, and today I'm going to talk you through the Scratch programming practicum of the Ag Technology CDE. So first off, you are allowed to bring your laptop to this contest, so you'll have to have three things downloaded before you get there. Those three things are Scratch 2, Node, and this folder with a couple files that you'll need. So all of those links are right up here. You're going to want to save this folder onto your desktop. That'll just make it easiest to find whenever you're um, putting it into Scratch. So once you have these things downloaded, the first thing that you're going to do is open up Scratch. It looks like this. I'm going to start a new one since we've already constructed all this. And then you're going to want to hold down Shift and click File. Now, if you don't hold down Shift, then these um, options here won't show up and those are the ones that we need. So as you'll see, I did not click shift here. So it looks like that. Hold down the shift button, click file, and then hit import experimental HTTP extension. So when you click on that, you're going to want to find that folder on your desktop. This is the one that I've saved onto my de desktop and select this second one. This is an S2E file. This is what will make the um, controls appear into Scratch. So you're going to click on that. This one is actually the same file, but the um, commands are in Chinese. So it's kind of there just as a distraction. But the second file is the one we're going to be using. So when we hit open on that, and then we go to more blocks, you'll see now all of the Tello controls have been imported into Scratch. So this is what we're going to use to build all of our controls. OK, next we have to get the Tello and the, drone, or the, Tello and the computer talking. So what we're going to do there is open up the, the command prompt and you're going to type cd space then you are going to go to your files find that same folder with those three files in it click up here and copy that file path control c is copy so then we go back to command prompt we paste that file path and hit enter so once again that cd space and then paste the file path next we're going to type node space Tello.js. When you hit enter on that, you should get this message right here, listening on right here. So once you have that, you know you're good. If you go back to scratch, you'll see that this bubble right here has turned green. That's what we're looking for. So once those steps are done, you can go ahead and start building your blocks. For this contest, you'll have to build manual controls along with two patterns. So the way that we do that is you're going to go up here to events. Events is going to give you commands. So for manual commands, I like to use this one. It says when space key pressed. So then we can assign a task to that button. So now when I press the space key, the drone will take off. So we're going to want to create manual controls for each one of these things, all of these. So all of those will need a manual control. That way, if anything happens in your pattern, you can take over manual control of the drone. So those are a must have. This key right here, you can click down and assign any key. The keys that you will need to assign for the contest will be given to you. Um, but just for practice, you can select, let's say up arrow and that will fly forward. So each one of those things has to be assigned. You can also change this distance. The distance will also be specified for the contest. Let's change it to hundred centimeters for now. So now when I press the up arrow, the drone will fly forward for hundred centimeters. So you're going to do one of those for each one of your manual commands. Then to build patterns, I like to use this one. It's like when the flag is clicked. So you pull that one over and then you build your pattern. So let's say I want to take off, fly up, fly left, fly back, fly right. So we got a little square going on. Then I'm going to flip forward fly down, and land. So now when I press the flag, I can either click here or I can click up here. The drone will execute this whole pattern. The pattern always has to start with takeoff and end with land, of course, um, but there'll be two patterns specified that you have to build for this contest. Um, and then lastly, the last thing to do would be to connect the drone to your computer, and that is just through Wi-Fi. So you're gonna power your Tello on, Click on the Wi-Fi, it'll pop up there. Once you connect the Tello to Wi-Fi to your computer, all of your commands will work and they will control the drone. Let me know if you have any questions.